today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I mix my uh, aloe vera hairspray so what I like to do is mix aloe vera with some green tea because the benefits of both are very very great for your hair so aloe vera is a very great moisturizer for your hair it's a great growth stimulant uh, it helps reduce dandruff shedding and hair fall and so many things like that and overall it's a great moisturizer like for my hair it can be very dry and uh, to me it works better than coconut oil so I like to use aloe vera and then I thought of green tea because green tea has antioxidants in it green tea can help fight off free radicals that can come into your hair um, it can help with uh, de-stressing your hair it can help with the porosity of your hair it can help with hair loss hair fall balding it helps control dandruff and so much more guys so that's what I'm gonna be showing you how I mix it all so I got my spray bottle here and I already took me some aloe vera out this is uh, the inner fillet inner fillet aloe vera so I'm going to pour, I'm going to pour about half, about right there, just about half. So I'll pour half of that, Ooh. my green tea. So then um, I'm going to mix in some oils. So first oil I'm going to mix in is by Camilla, Camille Rose. And this is a uh, Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum. It has Ayurvedic Brahmat, Brahmi and Amla oils. It has a lot of great oils in here and it smells really good. So I'm going to do... I'm not even counting y'all, but I'm just going to do a few drops of that. That was mini, but you know. So, um, a few drops of that. And then I'm also going to take this lavender essential oil with a hoba, sweet almond, and aloe vera. This is a body oil, but it's a multi, oops. I didn't got it all over. It's a multi-use oil. So, um, don't get discouraged or intimidated when you see things that say it's for the body, but you can also use on your hair. And this is by Dr. Teals. It is the moisturizing bath and body oil. So it has the lavender essential oil with the hoba sweet almond and aloe vera so yeah i just put a little bit of that in there and uh i'm going to add a few drops of my broccoli seed oil in here because broccoli seed oil is also very moisturizing so i'm just going to add four drops of that now you guys can tweak this how you want you could just leave it at the aloe vera and green tea if you want i didn't want to do that because i like adding oils and things to my concoctions and um, I had some more essential oils but I don't have them up here with me I have to go get them the one to add some tea tree in here too but I, I guess I'll do that later so then I'm going to add this beard oil in here beard oil it don't matter if it's beard oil or hair oil it's just wording and labeling okay it's oil that go on your head to do the same thing that can do for you for your head for your beard okay <laughs> So I'm adding this because it has argan oil, hemp, and castor oil in it. So I'm just going to add a few drops of that in here. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah, see? She's, she's, she's yeah, finessing I'm, I'm using your beard oil. 
My goodness. So it has coconut oil, olive oil, hemp, safflower, castor, and uh, an argan oil in it. That's why I'm using it. So, boom. There you go. You want to put some of that aloe vera in there? Yeah, hey, I put aloe vera in here. Can you get me the, uh, the rosemary essential oil and uh, the tangerine essential oil? So, of course, you guys should already know that rosemary is a great scalp stimulant and it's, it also helps control dandruff and promotes hair growth. So we only just got a little bit up in here, so we're gonna I'm have gonna to take the cap off of it. We're gonna have to see what it do. So we got took the cap off. One. It's coming. <laughs> Two. Alright, okay, we got two drops of that. <laughs> two drops of that out. And then I like to add tangerine or orange essential oil for smell purposes. But this also brings about a pleasant and uplifting vibe to your hair and scalp. So I'm just going to do three drops of this because it's strong. So one, two, three. Boom. Alright. And now, just shake it up. Shake it, 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 shake it up. So again, y'all, y'all can tweak this however you like. Y'all don't have to go off what I did. But make sure you do the green tea and um, aloe vera, though, for sure. And you can add whatever oils and essential oils you want to it. This is just what I'm doing, and this is just what I have around me. So then, here you go. I'm clumsy today, y'all. So I'm gonna smell it. Oh, it smells good too. So I'm gonna spray some of this in my hair. Cause I didn't moisturize my hair today. Actually, I'm supposed to wash my hair today. But I'm gonna, I'll just use this as like a pre-poo, a pre-poo spray before washing my hair. This smells really good. <laughs> I need a better spray bottle too because, you know, spraying with this type of spray bottle, it'll really tire out your, um, you know, your fingers and your hands. Baby, come smell this. I'm gonna be using this on my hair and then baby's gonna be using it on his beard. His beard is growing, so that is great. His beard really likes aloe vera too. So for you for, for, for the fellas out there, you know, if you got a little struggle struggle with your beard, you might want to use some aloe vera. You can extract it yourself from the plant. Or you can just buy the aloe vera juice. It all depends on, you know, what you feel like. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all. That's what I just wanted to share with you guys. Because I've been seeing great things with using aloe vera. And... My hair really likes it. It's very moisturizing. It's not sticky. It's not, you know, it doesn't like leave my hair hard or anything. So, it's definitely going to be a staple in my lock care regimen. Yay! Yay! Baby, she's walking. She's doing it. Come on, walk, baby. You got it. Come on. My daughter walking, y'all. 
Come on. Yay, Bobby. Okay, y'all. So I will see you guys in my next video.